All right, lecture 15, um, I'm going to do a quick review on dilations on the coordinate plane and talk about some applications using scale factors. Uh, so let's go ahead and begin here. Uh, just as a review on dilations, remember, if we have, I'm just going to do a, uh, an ordered pair here, example one, dilate using a scale factor, so I'm going to use SF for scale factor of one half, okay? Uh, here's the point. Let's go negative six comma eight, okay? Remember what we did uh, before when we were talking about transformations? We just basically took our scale factor and times each coordinate multiplied each coordinate by that scale factor. So when I do that, if I take negative six times one half my scale factor, I get negative three. I'll do the same thing with eight, my y coordinate. Okay, I'm gonna write y coordinate here. Y equals eight times one half my scale factor, and I end up with four. Now, if you're going to do a shape or, you know, dilate a shape using a specific scale factor, make sure you label, list all the ordered pairs on the, uh, from the coordinate plane, the shape, the vertex, vertices, and, 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 do, and do this, okay? It's all about manipulating the points, okay? Uh... Now let's look at an application problem. I'm going to try to draw this up. Um, I'm going to draw a tree, a beautiful little tree, out to the side here. Mm. Got to have the little sound effects. Uh, let's get some uh, leaves here. Okay. And what we're going to do is, I want to show you how to use a scale factor. Let's say this is a real tree, or I'm sorry, a model tree. Okay. Maybe it's on a drawing, like a Bob Ross drawing. <laughs> you guys are probably too young to know who that is. Uh, let's say the drawing on a piece of paper of a tree is 20 inches. Okay, I want to abbreviate. And uh, the scale drawing of the tree, the scale drawing of the tree sorry guys, I should have had this right out, is written as one Some kind of ratio like that. Okay? And they want to know uh, what would the what would the height of the tree what would the height of the tree be in real life? So I'm gonna try to finish this question of the of the tree. Be in real life. Now that's my question. All right. Let's let's talk about the uh, scale here for a second. Something that a lot of people kind of uh, kind of mess up on. There's three ways of drawing, uh, writing up a scale or you know scale factor. Uh, you can write it as, well, in our case, we had this, a 1 to 500. Or you could write it as 1, write it as a fraction, I guess you could say. Okay. Or 1 to 500. Now, 
we're going to use this form the most. All right. So I'm going to use kind of like ratio of proportion to set this up. If they wanted to know the actual height of the tree, let's kind of go by, you know, talk about the rules of these ratios. The first number in a ratio, parentheses, scale factor, okay, represents or refers to the, oh, how can I say this? Maybe the model or drawing and the second number the second number refers to the original or real life object, I guess you could say. All right. So there's kind of a background. This is, uh, guys, this is a question I'm going to put on tomorrow's, uh, or one video quiz this week. Uh, it might be uh, a test question Friday. But that's a very important note right there. Um, for our example, let's go back to our example. You know, we're given a drawing of a tree is 20 inches. Now, if you use this scenario, okay, the first number in ratio refers to the model or drawing. All right. Now, I have a drawing. Now, what I want to do is I want to set a ratio of proportion using my scale factor. Now I'm going to uh, go to a different page here. I'm going to write my scale factor just like this. And I'm going to set up a ratio of proportion. We're wanting to try to find the height of a real tree. Okay. Now, if you put a number in the wrong spot, you should be able to determine whether you're right or wrong. Okay. Now, somewhere there's going to be an X to represent our uh, real height of the tree, okay, and you let that be H if you want to, uh, you know, represent height, okay. I need this number. Now you got to keep in mind this is a drawing. Now if I look at my rule, uh, the top number, the first number in a ratio refers to the model or drawing. Since I have that number. I'm going to put that first. That is my top number. Okay. And then, well, I'm going to have the actual height. Now, if you think about it, for every one inch of the drawing represents 500 inches of the actual object. So, you know, ratio of proportion is something I know you guys have done before. Okay. Cross, multiply, and divide. All right. 500 times 20, uh, that's going to be uh, 10,000. Okay, so the real height, oops, I forgot to do something. We want to divide by the leftover number. Okay, which is in this case 1. I don't want to not do that step there. Make sure you cross multiply and you divide by the leftover number. Cross multiply. And we get 10,000. That didn't change. Inches is the real height. Okay. Uh, you'll have a couple of these to practice on tomorrow. Uh, you'll have a quiz tomorrow over uh, a situation where we have one of these application problems. So I will see you tomorrow.